and then we're waiting and we're waiting such as life um <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Simming Pothead and today we are going to do a very short tutorial on how to download the toaster mod. So this mod, as you probably saw, a lot of YouTubers were and simmers were getting really hyped about this mod where you can actually have functional toasters um, in the sim. So this toaster actually makes different types of toast directly. Um, which is really great because The Sims only has like a microwave and a coffee maker and very like <laughs> non-specific to food. So this really allows you to make different types of toasts. Um, and we'll see how it works in the game if you want to stick around, but we'll do a very quick um, demonstration on how to download this mod. So what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the downloads here. And then you want to click on the Mediafire link. So once you click the link, you're going to be brought to Mediafire. Very simple. All you have to do is click download and exit quickly out of that pop-up so that um, you're not going to, yeah, you don't want pop-ups. <laughs> anyway, so once it downloads here, you're going to want to click this little arrow and then you're going to click show in folder. And that's going to bring it up into your downloads folder right here. So that's your downloads folder. So as you can see, this is a 7-zip file. So what you want to do is get a file opener. Um, I recommend 7-zip. The link to that is in the description along with the, the link to the mod. Um, and it's free and you can use it to unzip these kind of files. You don't want to drag this into your mods folder without unzipping it or it's not going to work. So you're going to want to then right click on this and then click 7-zip and then click extract here. So once it extracts it, it's gonna come up with three files below it um, that are going to be called functional toasters, um, the sound of the toaster and stuff like that. So there are three files. You're then going to wanna go into documents and then you are going to wanna click open in new window. Um, and then you're going to want to click electronic arts, Sims 4 mods. And then you're going to minimize that if it's not already minimized. Um, and then so you're going to see your mods folder over here and your um, downloaded folders over here. So you can either just drag and drop into this mods folder directly. I like to keep everything a little bit more organized, as you can see. So I have a section that's called functional objects. So what I did is I drag and drop into this functional objects folder, which you can create by just right clicking, clicking new and clicking folder and then calling it functional objects. You can also um, call it toaster mod if you want just the toaster mod in it. In case there's an update, it's a lot easier to find the mods um, than just dragging it and having a ton of mods in your mods folder like this. As you can see, I have the toaster specifically um, right here. So um, yeah, the folder um, has the three files in here. So you can either do toaster or you can do functional objects or you can do just regular in your mods folder. Um, I hope that was helpful and let's see what it looks like in the game, guys. I'm really excited to finally have toasters in the sentence. Yay! Okay, see you in the game, guys. Okay guys, we are in the game now. So as you can see, we have a coffee maker, a um, microwave, and a refrigerator, but do we have a toaster? Now we can have one. So what you want to do is go into build mode and wait for it to load. And once it loads, you're going to type into this little search bar, the toaster, or you can go into your objects by room, click on appliances, um, and then you're going to want to scroll down until you see a beautiful toaster right here. So as you can see, we have the toaster and we have it in all different colors. We have um, all these different nice, um, I'm going to choose the yellow one. Um, just because I'm a yellow kind of gal. Um, so yeah, you can like place it wherever you want. Um, 
And just make sure you leave one counter open so that the person can use um, a counter to cook. Um, but yeah, and then you're going to go into live mode. Okay, so now that we have the toaster, we're going to use our good friend over here, um, Cruz, to click on this toaster and make some nice food. So let's choose, um, I think he just wants some um, Nutella, hell yeah. Um, and so kids cannot use this item. It can only be teenagers and, um, adults. But as you can see, you have many, many options here. Um, yeah, he's pouring the toast in. He's placing it in. And we have some nice sound effects, too. And then we're waiting, and we're waiting, such as life. Um, Yo, and beautifully toasted. I like the little textures there. And now he has it in his inventory, so you just want to click on the inventory, and we have some delicious toast. So that was quick and easy. We have Nutella toast, and its quality is excellent. Um, so it just makes it a lot easier to have an appliance that's more um, geared towards one type of food that's nice, quick, and easy um, for breakfasts and things like that. Um, and so I think you guys would really benefit from having another appliance in the kitchen um and this mod is super useful and quick to install so if you have any questions on how to download this mod please leave a question or comment in the comment section below and the link to this mod and to the file extractor that you need to download the mod is in the description below so let me know um and keep on swimming everyone bye